Let's head to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Uh, this one about another uh, another trade for uh, DK Metcalf. Hey there, this is Blue. Here's my uh, proposal for how to get rid of Baker Mayfield <laughs> and actually turn him into an asset. So Baker Mayfield, we trade Baker Mayfield, a second round pick, a third round pick, and $18.8 million to cost the Baker's contract to the Seattle Seahawks for DK Metcalf. The only problem then being, uh, how do we pay him? But uh, I'm sure Andrew Barry can figure that out. He figures out uh, everything else. He's a genius. So uh, tell me what you think of that proposal. Maybe we can get uh, Baker off our hands and have the most dynamic, wide receiver tandem in the league. Thanks. Love the show. All right. As always, appreciate all of the uh, uh, the voicemails. And, and again, uh, Tim, I admire the creativity. I don't think Seattle's given up DK Metcalf unless they get one, maybe two first-round picks. I, I think he's that good and that valued. I agree. I mean, obviously, we know the Browns aren't going to have a first-round pick until 2025, so I – I feel like that almost that alone almost takes him out of the running for DK Metcalf. And then when it comes to a potential Baker Mayfield trade, um, you know, they might not get as much as I think everybody thinks everybody thought they were gonna get at the beginning of the process. I mean, just the quarterback jobs were all basically taken. And if a team is willing to take on all of Baker's salary, about eighteen point nine million dollars, that's just tremendous, even regardless of, you know, what you get, as long as you hope it it's at least something like a fourth or maybe a fifth or a fourth that turns into a third. Um, there's a lot of complicated things to go along with it, but I, I think, you know, just that would be tricky to put into a blockbuster trade and trading away a second and a third when you've already traded a first to get a player DK Metcalf is really good. But again, you're going to have to pay him pretty soon. You don't have enough money to pay everybody. So, I mean, the best course might there might just be Stan Pat take a young receiver and hope you hope you hit on a guy that could be a, a very dynamic playmaker on the perimeter for years to come.